What's up YouTube, it's Matthew here. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the top three ways to find cash buyers in your wholesale real estate business in 2024. These are the top three ways that I have found cash buyers uh, when I was wholesaling more consistently, and I think this will still work in 2024. Now, if you all have any questions or any other methods that you can help the viewers find cash buyers, please, comment them down below. This is a community here and we want to help each other out. And if you all have any questions, let me know down below. And I'm going to share my screen with you all so we can have an interactive uh, lesson on finding cash buyers. And hopefully you all can implement this into your business right now, especially in the year of 2024. All right, so right here I'm on PropStream. PropStream is a great software that you can find cash buyers. And I just put in a random city louisville kentucky and um the good thing about PropStream is that you can go here and just click cash buyers and boom you have thirty-one thousand cash buyers but i don't like using these pre-populated lists all the time especially if i want a smaller list so the way i drill into um prop stream and by the way if you're interested in prop stream check my link down below you got you get a seven free day trial using my link so Please sure be sure to check out ProStream down below. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go over here where it says owner occupied. Now these are cash buyers. They're not going to occupy most likely the property that they are investing in, whether it's a rental or a flip they're working on. So this is non-owner occupied. Now this property could be vacant or occupied because it can be a rental unit. So it could be any right here. Now property characteristics doesn't really matter um, for, for me when I'm trying to find a cash buyer. Um, MLS status doesn't matter. They can be listing their rental or their flip. Um, pre foreclosure information that doesn't matter either. Ownership information. This is what I'm looking for. Now you can find LLCs and you can do that. But for this um, list, we're just going to stick to individual cash buyers. And I know there are individuals that may own not a lot of properties, but they still own enough properties where they are actively buying. And another thing that you could do, you can still keep corporate, but make sure the number of properties owned are like less than 20 or something like that. Uh, like that's the maximum amount that they own. Uh, so you could keep those, you know, those mom and pop LLCs uh, in your criteria. But for this purpose, let's just stick with individual for right now. Now, max year ownership. This is another important aspect because you're trying to find people who have brought who have bought properties within the past year. And so last sell date, you can either put it by date or you could put it by years of ownership. So my max is going to be one year. And so that brings the list down dramatically to around 2,400. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to valuation and equity. And right here, the estimated equity, I want them to own 100% of the property, right? And so I'm going to put a max ownership of, um, or a minimum ownership of like 99 estimated equity. And so that brings it down even more. And so these are people who have bought properties within the past year right? One year of ownership or less. These are individuals and they own 99% or more of the property and they're non-owner occupied. So these are cash buyers. And so from here, what I would do is I'll just click this and I'll add to list and I can skip trace directly on PropStream, get their phone numbers and call them and see if they're interested in a deal I have or to be added to my uh, cash buyers list. And so this is one of the best ways to find cash buyers in your area. Now, the second way is actually using a website like Zillow. So I, I just search up properties for sale. And then right here, I'm going to go to more and I'm going to go to keywords and I'm going to put remodel or renovate it. And honestly, you don't have to put both, um, but I'll just put keep renovate it for right now. And then I'll, I'll click apply. And so right here, it shows all properties that have the word renovated in it because I'm trying to find properties that look like they have been recently flipped. So for example, this property right here, um, this definitely looks like a flip property with the paint, 
Um, this looks like staging. It may or may not be staging. It may be someone's interior, but another way you can look at that is by looking at when this property was last sold. So this property was sold at 405 and now they're listing for 395. So this may not be ideal, but um, this property was actually sold at 240 and they listed it uh, for around that price range. So this property may, you can look into the history and find the cash buyer, but let's try to find a better example of a property we know for sure that was recently flipped. So for example, a property like this, this looks like your standard flip. Um, let's go look at the history. Well, not that, not, 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 not that recent. Let's, let's keep on looking. We're going to find one. Um, I'm just trying to find a really good example for you all, essentially. Um, something like this. Exactly. Okay, we found one. All right, so this was sold in 2023 in April. And so you can see this, pro this price is much less than this price. And so you know this is an, an investor flip, and they're listing it for sale for 381 and you can look from the properties, I mean, the pictures that this property is staged, it's recently renovated, it has all the touches of your typical flip property. And then from here, what I'm going to do, I can either contact the listing agent, find out who the contractor is or cash buyer or the um, the listing agent is, or not the owner of the house, but they may, they probably can't tell you that information. But what you could do, you could either go on PropStream you know, you can look up this address and, address and see who owns it. Or you could go on your county's website. So, for example, I would just copy and paste this and I'll put it into here. Well, they're actually for street numbers. So I'm going to put 19 and then I'm going to put, is it North? What was it? North Hamilton? And so you see here, and you find the cash buyer, and you can either find them on Facebook Marketplace, on Facebook, or um, skip trace them, or you could send them a mail saying, "Hey, I have properties. I see this property that you just flipped. If you're interested in potentially um, buying more deals, let me know." But this house is beautifully done. Honestly, it looks really good. Um, another thing you could do instead of going to sell, you can look at sold. That fits all of that criteria. And you know, these are properties that investors just sold and they're looking for their next deal. And so that's something that you all can do also. And so as you can see, this was sold for 27,000 and they sold it for 319. Uh, and so this was probably a heavily done rehab or a new construction property. You no, know, completely renovated from the studs. So this is another example. You see this was sold recently, 2022, and enlisted. So that's how I would find a cash buyer. Go on your county's website and find the owner that way. And so that is how I would find cash buyers using Zillow. Now the next and the third and final way, which is one of the best and free ways to find cash buyers is by using Facebook. Um, one way I found a cash buyer is that I... I looked at old posts from real estate groups, other wholesalers posting, hey, I'm a wholesaler, cash buyers, leave your emails down below. And I go back to those posts, I save those posts, and I look at the comments, and I copy those emails that when I have a deal, I blast it out to those people. So looking at old posts on real estate groups that you're involved in, um, and the good thing about Facebook, a lot of times you could just search um, different old posts. So you could put something like cash buyers uh, or something like that, and you can find these old posts. Another way is that you can advertise your property on Facebook, but not advertise the property, but adver advertise, of course, the assignable contract. And through that, you know, cash buyers can understand that you're putting and or signs and um, this is an assignable contract. And I actually finally found a cash buyer that way and they messaged me and, you know, that was probably one of my biggest deals, um, finding that cash buyer. And so you got to make sure you advertise the contract, not the property uh, for legal reasons. And so those are the different ways to find cash buyers in 2024 that's still relevant 
Um, there are different softwares. I know Investor Lift is a, another big one a lot of the other wholesalers talk about, but it is pricey. But if you're uh, running that type of company and you have multiple um, deals that you need to sell, that may be a better choice for you. So once again, these are my top three ways to find cash buyers in 2024 for your wholesale real estate business. Make sure you all like this video, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll talk to you all later.